Robert Jaycock, he's an expert in anatomical pathology. We're talking about consumables you need in every anatomical pathology lab setting. So we not only look at it as offering products, but we also offer solutions. So we back up all of our products by creating a complete solution and really talking to customers about how we solve their individual needs instead of just offering a hematoxylin or maybe a xylene or something else. And what about the uh, classes or categories? We have a full line of tissue processing reagents, anywhere from standard tissue processing reagents to reagents that save up to 10 times in tissue processing. And within our complete line of tissue processing reagents, we offer two different levels. So we offer our standard series or value line series. And then our signature series, which do specific things like help to protect against over dehydration or really help when processing breast tissue to make sure it's not under processed. On the second shelf, we have our sectioning products. Incorporated here, a couple of the unique things that we offer are one is a full line of colored frozen section media. The other nice thing is compared to traditional section or frozen section compounds, we have unique formulation which happens to help reduce the curling so it just gives you a little bit more time to pick it up and get a usable section. So the MX35 is our new microtome blade. The chromium layer that normally gets laid over on a blade is not just laying on top anymore. It actually the process bakes or actually seats it directly into the metal now. So it reduces chipping and knife lines found in traditional blades. We do have a complete line of H&E and then IHC reagents. So and that's one of the big things is we do offer our hematoxin, the ESN, which is our most well-known product. And is there anything new in this sort of stain area itself or what things that you hear from customers? Where is the industry going? Well, with stains, especially H&E, they've been around for over 100 years, really haven't changed too much. But again, the one thing we do here continuously is it's hard to change because people just do not have the time to dedicate it. So one of the things we did do is we have created something called our TechRite Slide Match Service. We've taken the time out of conversion. So essentially, before somebody commits to us, we can show them and demonstrate what our stains are going to look like on their tissue. We begin by just having them send in one stain slide and 10 unstained slides. We then work up three different protocols and send the slides back so then they can evaluate them. So now instead of having to start from square one, we provide them everything they need, including samples, all the chemicals and reagents to be able to do that. And then it's just a matter of tweaking it once we get the package back to them in their laboratory. Learn more at thermoscientific.com slash pathology.